Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be opening some fan mail. No, I'm just kidding. This is a parcel from Paul Noxyman, uh, and all will be revealed in this video. But first, I'm going to go up Werneth Low because Paul's actually in the area visiting some family. So we're going to go and see if we can make a radio contact first. But stay tuned because I'm going to show you what's inside this box very soon. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, hope you're all okay, thanks for joining me today for another video. This is just a quick one, sort of like a remote collaboration with Paul uh, Noxyman, he's got a really good YouTube channel and we've been talking lately a lot about 3D printing and he's got a 3D printer and I've got one on the way and he's been printing some amazing things off for, for radios, just sort of experimenting really and getting to grips with the software and the printer itself and he sent me a couple of bits in a box which we're going to open back in the shack in a little while. But Paul's actually in the area, he's, he's from down in Oxfordshire, uh, but he's actually in the area today. Well, he's in a clear line of sight to me, radio-wise anyway. He's over in Mould in North Wales, and that's around 50 miles, 40, 50 miles from here. Possibly a little bit further, and to my sort of 8 o'clock, he's in a clear line of sight from there. Um, but we're not going to work simplex today, we're going to go into a repeater just for ease of use, because we've both got limited time, but we thought while he's in the area, and while he's reachable on analogue radio, that we'd uh, get a quick QSO in. So I'm going to call him on GB3CR in a minute, he's, uh, he's ready in his car, uh, I think he's been out this morning with the family and stuff, and he's ready in his car. I'm at Werneth Low, the usual spot this morning, Sunday morning, really nice day today, quite sunny and quite bright across Manchester, so um, we'll put a call out for Paul and see if we can uh, make a contact with him. It's weird when you speak to people through YouTube and stuff and then you uh, you actually speak to them on the radio for the first time, but yeah, here we go. G7 LNK Mobile, M3HHY Mobile, you're monitoring Paul. Hey, uh, yeah, good morning there, young sir. Yeah, good morning. You're on video. I'm just up um, Werner Flow, my usual high ground. It's a really nice day up here. Um, I've got a clear line of sight down to you, Paul, where you are in mould around um, 50 miles away. It could probably work simplex, actually, but um, yeah, you're cracking into the repeater. Uh, the repeater's about 40 miles away from me. Uh, back to you. <coughs> D7 LNK returning. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Superb, yeah, my voice is a, a few octaves lower this morning. It was uh, quite a heavy night last night. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're just at this little farm shop. I've not been here before ever, but um, uh, I, I wondered what repeaters I could hit from here. And apart from the one, I think MP, I can nail all of them from here. So I can only think the location must be fairly decent, uh, Lewis, here. But um, how is the radio sounding to you? Again, I was just interested in audio tech. You're coming over really nice, actually. What, you, what are you using? Your... Uh, your new mobile radio? Yeah, M3HHY mobile. I'm using the Simoco SRM9000 with the 9022 handset, which you'll see on the video here. I think I think I might have shown it to you actually. Yeah, I'm just on that one at the moment. The radio you're using is sounding absolutely perfect. Um, no issues at all. Really good, strong, clear audio. Um, nice modulation and everything into the repeater, so no issues at all. I struggle with MP a little bit sometimes. I think it's a bit hit and miss. That's over in Denby in North Wales, but. Um, yeah, you're in quite a, a decent area there because you've you've got sort of a clear takeoff across like the Cheshire and Manchester flats, so you can um, get into quite a lot of repeaters. Uh, I'm quite high up here, so I can get into all of them um, from up here as well, which is good. Um, but yeah, that's um, that's great. It's good to uh, good to catch you on the radio for the first time properly. Uh, back to you from M3HHY Mobile. That's the Simoco handset. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if it cuts off, it might just be that the car is. Uh, the, the 12 volt cuts out on this, I don't know what yours is like, you only get so long and then the uh, auxiliary socket goes off. Um, but the one nice thing with the Megane, it's got two actually, it's got one in the front and one in the back, and the one in the front is playing up, so uh, I'm using the one in the back. Um, but um, yeah, I really like this radio, I'm really, really pleased with it. So I've, I've 3D printed a bracket for it, and um, that's working great, so I can just hang it over the centre console, and uh, my little microphone clip works, everything, so yeah, it was really 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 pleased like you, you perhaps wouldn't want to leave it in the car on a really hot day but if i uh, if i do i should probably not want to part of abs uh, but the actual bracket itself looks really really strong but um yeah i mean if you want anything knocking up mate just let us know if you like you mentioned the uh, bracket you wanted doing so um, i'm pretty good with the uh, design software now as well so uh you know i'm i'm finding all sorts of things i've got like a, a usb hub on the side of the desk now where, where it was on the top of the desk and i made some little brackets to fit that and just great, it's just great being able to knock stuff up like that, you know? Um, you'll find out when you when you get yours, you'll just be obsessing about it. It's, uh, I'm sure it'll wear off, but at the moment it's not. <laughs> but 
back round to you, Lewis. I wonder if uh, anyone else is monitoring. Uh, we'll just leave a little pause just in case. Yeah, from M3HHY Mobile. Yeah, great stuff. I saw the picture of the bracket you put on. It was uh, absolutely fantastic for a quick, a quick knocked up item. It just looks the part. Um, so yeah, I can't wait for mine to come now. I'm, I'm really excited for it. There's just like you say, it's, you're limited only by your imagination really as to what you can make. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's fantastic. And yeah, on this car, well, my my car, as as I told you, was the Clio, which is basically it's the same as the Megane. Um, if you see them together they, they look identical but I don't have the 12 volt in the back um, unfortunately I've just got the one in the front and the auxiliary doesn't cut off on this after a certain amount of time it'll just keep running and running until the battery's flat as I did find out once up here I had to get a, a jump start off my dad so yeah uh, it's all good fun so I just keep the engine running now I mean it's a brand new battery in this car it's only been in a couple of months but I just keep, always keep the engine running um, you know just to be on the safe side I get a bit paranoid what I'm gonna do um, Paul I'm gonna switch over to another radio the Retivis RC90 um, on the same repeater um, so if I'll pass it back to you and then uh, I'll come back to you next on the Retivis <coughs> okay uh, G7 LNK M3 HHY this is a Retivis RC90 now um, on the, uh, the stock microphone really nice chunky microphone to this as well Paul and um, you'll, you'll see this in the video um, so yeah, how's it sounding? Uh, back to you. It sounds really, really good, Lewis. Really, really good. Nice and clear. Not really a great deal of difference between that and the other radio. So uh, yeah, it sounds nice. Um, I think you know uh, some of these the, the cheaper radios get a bit of a knock for their audio quality. And um, I often sometimes have thought on some of the, the Chinese radios whether the, the sort of narrow settings for deviation is a little bit too narrow. But um, if you're saying that this one sounds okay, then I'm pretty sure the Anytone is good. Um, I really, really like this Anytone. Uh, the two videos I did over Christmas uh, just hammered it home. I mean, so much so, the, the uh, 8900 Yaesu, uh, I think it is, is, uh, is going. I'm, uh, it's being sold, so cause I'm not using it. Because um, I like to be able to, uh, to monitor all the PMRs, and you can't get the split on the, on the 8900 to do that. So, uh, um, yeah, it's great. I really, really like it. Um, back round to you from G7 LNK. Yeah, M3HHY Mobile, and I know what you mean, I, like I say, I'm a massive advocate, as the channel shows, of the Chinese radios, and um, I think they've all got the place, I've, I've, I've yet to come across any that are really bad, um, like this, this Retivis is just absolutely cracking on DMR, uh, and on analogue, the only issue I've got is I need to get an external speaker, because where this is mounted under the dash, and um, the speaker, uh, there's only about um, five mil gap between the speaker and the bottom of the dash, so I could do with getting an external, you know, just so the sound can flow better. But it's a cracking little performing radio. I absolutely love it, and the Simoco one's great as well. And so, yeah, I've got a redundant Icom 207 in the shack that's not doing anything really. Uh, I should make a go box or something from it because it's a cracking little radio, and it's my first radio ever, that I ever got. So I can't part with it. Um, you know, it's like sentimental, and it's about about 22 years old as well now, and it's still just works absolutely perfect cracking audio um, but it's just too big for this car um, the Retivis has got a slightly um, shallower body so it fits in the dash better um, but the icon blocks the gears so I can't change gear if that's screwed in unfortunately which isn't ideal so uh, so yeah but yeah I'm happy with this radio anyway um, really am so what you got planned for the rest of the day Paul I'm gonna go home soon and I'm gonna um, have a look at the box the parcel you sent me uh, that you very kindly sent me I'm gonna uh, open that up and I'll put it into this video and we'll discuss. I won't. I won't steal any of your thunder on the 3D printing side of things. I'll just show what you uh, what you managed to knock up really quickly. Uh, back to you, G7 LNK M3 HHY Mobile on Werner Flow. I'm just leaving a quick pause. There. Yeah, no, don't worry about uh, the 3D printing. Just show what you want, mate. It's not a problem. I've got a video almost finished for that, so mm. it's. Um, but there's no, you know, it probably won't be out for a few days. You just show whatever. It's fine. Not a problem at all. Um, just out of interest, Lewis, I'll try on the uh, UV68D. I'll, I'll just uh, turn that on and see uh, if I'm coming through the repeater on that. Just uh, two seconds. Yep, no worries. Paul's actually building a Pi PF8. Um, from scratch from 3D printed and CNC machine parts. Um, I'll put a link to his part one video in the description to this so you'll have to go and check it out, it's really impressive. This is the Retivis RT90 guys I was telling you about. I've got a video coming up on this like uh, in the next week. It's an 
unbelievable little radio. It's for DMR and analog, so stay tuned for that one as well. Um, I was wondering if you wanted to try Simplex, um, Paul. If you wanted to try, say, 145575, um, just see if we can make the contact, and I'll monitor this. Uh, if we don't, we can just come back onto here. Might be worth a go. Yeah, definitely. Give me a couple of minutes so I can uh, program it on this radio. I'm not uh, that familiar with the menu on this. Uh, I haven't played around with it for a while. So, yeah, give us a second. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll have a go. Yeah, no worries. I'll uh, I'll tune the rest of this over to one four five five seven five, and I'll uh, I'll listen out for you then. If I don't hear anything, I'll uh, I'll just come back to you on here. Uh, but it'd be worth a go while we're while we're at it anyway. Um, so just catch you in a second. M three HHY mobile. G seven LNK. Is anyone on frequency? M three HHY mobile. Anyone on frequency? Yeah. Uh, you getting me there, Lewis? Yeah, you're five nine plus plus. Absolutely um, storming up here to Ernethlow. Yeah, superb, superb. Let me just get the camera on. <coughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, it's the uh, I'm thinking you're in obviously a better location than the Mini 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 Yeah, definitely. Um, I can't remember. I, I, I don't know much about Fusion to be honest, because uh, I, I don't have Fusion myself. But I went round to my friend Chris M Zero O G G, and I was just sat in his shack, and he, uh, he he put the radio on and connected to something. And I just put a call. I just did a t he, he just said, just put your call sign out because he was trying to test something. And then yeah, I was I was shocked when you uh, when you came back. It was it was um, it was it was brilliant. Um, I thought, what a, what a small world. What are the chances? And it was only by chance I was there. He messaged me on the way home. Um, so I just uh, I just nipped in, and uh, yeah, it was it was good to catch you. Um, but yeah, I think line of sight probably 40, 50 miles. But I'll put it on the video. I'll plot it on the map where you are and where I am. Um, but yeah, you you sound just as clear as on the repeater here. I wouldn't know um, that we weren't on a repeater. It's it's that clear. So um, that's great. But as I say, you just a, a really clear line of sight to me. And obviously, I'm I'm higher up. So yeah, it's uh, it's good. It's a good spot here. I'm sure you've seen it in some of the other videos, and that I, I love it. Yeah, yeah, I have seen it. Yeah, it looks Timed really, out. really clear. The takeoff is amazing up there, isn't it? Um, and so, roughly from your QTH um, station, how far is it from here? Is it is it just over there? Is it from your QTH station? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just I'm just over there. I'm just over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Ah, right, okay. That's good then, that's really good. Yeah, the um, we haven't got really anything like that near me, uh, unfortunately. Um, we've got, um, there's a, where, where our local repeater is, CB3EH, it's a very good takeoff uh, up there, but it's not particularly high up, but it's a very good takeoff uh, if you want to beam across to Russia or somewhere. <laughs> it's 
but uh, apparently there's nothing in the way. <laughs> so it's fairly high up, but uh, ironically, some parts of Banbury you, you can't get, get into the repeater, you know. It's, uh, so it's all its location is so key, isn't it? And obviously up there with the altitude, uh, it's a particular like, location is the key on, on these frequencies anyway. Obviously, it's uh, different on HF, but um, you want a you know large bed of water on HF, don't you, by the sea or a lake or something? But with this, it's uh, very much uh, a very much um, if, you know you know height is king and uh, elevation is everything, isn't it? So I think we are we must be fairly high here, and there's another really hilly place just the other side of Buckley where I've been for a walk a few times. Uh, it's very high up up there. I can't remember just the name of it. I'll, I'll stick it in the video as well to, uh, uh, when I'm uh, back at base. But um, yeah, you sounded really good though. You sounded really, really, uh, really clear today. And uh, it's great to be able to uh, to do a bit of simplex. And like you say, on the repeater yesterday, I was amazed that you you come back. I was probably 50 miles away, probably 40 miles away. And uh, yeah, first or second call, you came back. Uh, this is uh, G7LNK with M3HHY. M3HHY mobile, yeah, um, yeah. I was I was surprised to hear you. I, I, I said I, I looked at my phone. I thought, where's that coming from? I thought it was something on my phone. You know, if it was maybe Zello or a message on WhatsApp or something. But yeah, I was I was surprised to hear you come back. So it was it was good. Um, yeah, the, the, there's a, there should be a mountain range near you. It's the Cluidian Range, and it runs um, right across uh, North Wales. It, it, it's sort of at the back of Denby, um, and yeah, I, I'm sure it's the Clu Cluidian Range. Um, I hope that's that's pronounced right, but it's it's uh, nice and picturesque and scenic up there. Um, definitely, I've been been up there a few times. I've family and stuff in Denby and um, been to Mould and and that. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's all good fun. But yeah, I will uh, I will make this my final, Paul, because I'm gonna I've got my parents coming around soon. We're gonna go out for some lunch and then I'm gonna uh, get back and film the other half of this video and hopefully get that up tonight. Um, but it was great to catch you anyway. Um, really good to catch you properly. Um, I'm at, I'm down at RAF Fairford for the air. Sorry, timed out. Check, I've got it. Yeah, I must turn that timeout timer off. I'm down at RAF Fairford in Gloucester in. Um, a few months time in July at the air tattoo so I'll get some repeaters programmed in and I'm sure we'll make the simplex contact from there as well um, so yeah I'll pass it back to you for a final Paul have a really good day and um, cheers for the chat and we'll catch you further down and cheers for the um, 3d printed bits as well um, 73 m3 hhy mobile 7 LNK returning yeah I suppose I should say static mobile G7 LNK Static Mobile. Yeah, okay, mate. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, really great to uh, contact you. You've been fantastic. Um, and they say that, uh, you know, we've been uh, sending a few bits over on WhatsApp. It's been brilliant. So, yeah, we'll carry on with that, mate. That's absolutely great. And uh, I'm really looking forward to see what you do with the 3D printer. You know, it's, um, you know, even when you've had a few drinks, it's amazing what you can knock up. <laughs> I'm not sure about the mic holder. Um, it's a little bit, uh, it works, you know, but... Um, yeah, I think I could do better. <laughs> but the bracket for the radio is absolutely stonking. It really is. So, yeah. Okay, mate, I'll let you get off and have a lovely afternoon uh, with the family there. So I'm going to go off into this farm shop and uh, see my family now. But wonderful to hear from you. And uh, I'm sure we'll do this again at some point. And by all means, if you're coming down my way, uh, you know, at some point this year, we'll have to try and uh, physically meet. That would be great. Okay, mate, I'll uh, pass it back to you for a quick final and we'll let you take off. This is uh, G7LNK Static Mobile with M3HHY. Yeah, G7 LNK, Static Mobile, M3 HHY, uh, Static Mobile, I guess. Yeah, cheers, Paul. It's really good to catch you. Um, we'll definitely get those collabs planned in and uh, get something sorted out. So send me the details over for them. And um, yeah, it was good to uh, good to catch you properly for the first time. So uh, yeah, have a good day. And uh, I'm sure I'll speak to you on WhatsApp later on. I'll keep you updated in with what's going on anyway. And I'll send you a link to the video when it's up. Cheers for the chat. Have a good one. We'll catch you again. 73 M3 HHY. Yeah, cheers, Lewis. Have a really good day. Uh, catch you later. Bye now. Okay, so that was uh, that was good to finally catch Paul there. Um, I'm going to go home now, and I'm going to unbox the um, parcel he sent me, and we'll see what 3D printed uh, goodies he sent me. Okay, so we're back home in the shack now, and this is the box that Paul sent me. I've peeled the shipping label off for obvious reasons, but um, basically, as I said in the uh, first part of this video, he's been experimenting with 3D printing, and he's got a 3D printer, and I'm looking to uh, get one next month. 
so I can start building stuff. And he's just been playing around with this with his printer um, in the design software and designing all sorts of little bits and pieces for his radios. I'm not going to steal Paul's thunder. Um, he's got videos coming up on what he's designed, but um, he sent me a couple of little samples here. Um, so thanks, Paul, for sending me this. Um, as I say, his channel is Noxyman. Um, there's a link in the description, so go and check it out. And what we've got here is looks like three items here. Thanks, Paul. Oh, so yeah, these are the parameters that he's used. So we've got like 3D printed bases here for the Bofeng T1 that he's sort of been experimenting with. So these look like a couple of drafts that he was playing around with. It's got my call sign on there, which is really cool. So you can see that there, Paul. Really appreciate that. Um, so yeah, you can see so that was done at 200 degrees. Uh, what was that one done at? That was 215 degrees. It's a camera will focus. And then this looks like the final one, which was done at 200 degrees. That's really cool, isn't it? The call sign on there, um, you know, straight out the 3D printer with no finishing. That's that's really impressive. So um, basically, Paul's thought behind this was the Bofeng T1, the little uh, UHF radio from Bofeng. It doesn't come with a charging base. It just has a little USB charger and it doesn't stand up very well either. Um, it'll stand up if you balance it, but it doesn't take a lot to like to knock the thing over so um, it's it's a little bit unsteady so Paul thought it'd be cool to make a little charging base for it so all you do is undo the little uh, rubber cap underneath there and just fold it back and then that just goes straight onto the little base oops like so how cool is that and it fits perfectly as well you just got a little space here for the rubber the rubber cap to go back on but I think that's really impressive you know for 3d printing you know, the things you can do are really cool so thanks very much Paul I really do appreciate that that's um, really cool I'm gonna put that on uh, display in the shack uh, for everyone to see because it's it's just great and uh, Paul made a good point this the you know 3d print is sort of only limited by your imagination um, as I say he's made all sorts and he's making a Pi PF8 so check that video out in the uh, link below but yeah I'm really happy with that Paul um, so thanks very much for sending it me uh, I really appreciate it that's gonna go on the display in the shed shack okay guys so i'll leave that one there like i say make sure you check the links out to paul's videos in the description and um, below uh, i'm going to be getting a 3d printer at some point as well and doing all sorts of things once i've got my head around the software as i say there's definitely a lot of potential to make some seriously cool stuff with uh, 3d prints and it's relatively um low cost now really to be honest so um yeah Thanks very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thanks to Paul as well for the uh, chat and for the, uh, the parcel. Really do appreciate that. If you have any comments, suggestions or questions, drop them in the box below and I'll get back to you. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, then hit the subscribe button. And just while I'm here, links to Instagram, Facebook and Twitter are all in the description below and at the end of this video. So make sure you check them out and follow me on there as well. And all that's left to say, 7-3. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Oh, <laughs> I didn't see this in the box. That's from Paul there. There's his YouTube channel there. That's um, from the professionals, which I think use the Pi PF8, um, if my memory serves me. Okay, cheers.